Coming off the previous training video on how to create a template, I want to introduce you to the macro button field because when we created our template, well, we've got an invoice of who we want to send it to, but all we have is a to field. What are we supposed to put in the to field? Well, if you have new employees that will be typing information in the to field, maybe you need to spell it out for them. So the macro button field is basically a text field that you can put in there that tells them what to put into that field. So let's go ahead and click right here. Come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Text Group, and click on the Quick Parts. Go down to Field. This should be familiar to you if you watched all my training videos, or more specifically, the video on fields. Click on it. And we're going to scroll down and find the M's for Macro Button. And then you can see up here the type of text you'd like to see. Please name. And then click Okie Dokie. And there you go, in quotes, please enter the name. So when they come here and they click on it, it selects the entire macro button field. So when they start typing, it replaces that field with their text. So now they know what to put there. And so you can go ahead and insert as many fields as you want. Let me hit undo a couple of times so the field's back. And if you want to see the coding for the field, because maybe you made a mistake, like please enter name, where you just want to say name, right click on it and say you want to toggle. And you can see in quotes, you can get rid of whatever you'd like there. You can just say name. And then you can right click and say you want to toggle back. There you go. You can also use the Alt F9 keys to reveal Alt F9 to hide. And of course, you can right click on it and edit the field, bring it back up. Oi, name, and <laughs> go ahead and click okie dokie, and there you go. So then, of course, you go ahead and save this back to overwrite your template, as that would make sense every time you create a new template. Whoever is creating a new invoice would see this in the template to say, okay, we got to have a name here. Oh, and then, of course, underneath that, you could insert another field. Macro button, and then that could be the street. Hit enter on the keyboard, and well, you could actually just copy and paste that down to the next one, like this. Control C, and then hit enter, Control V. I know it says street, but you can, of course, right click on it to edit the field or toggle it, and then just replace street with city, state, and zippity doo da. There you go. Cool. So let's go ahead and come up here, click on the Save As. Change it from Document. Now you better remember this because we covered it in the previous training video. What are we going to select? It's the word template.dotx. Select it. Takes us to the Templates folder. Let's overwrite the original, My Spiffy Invoice, not the second one. That one was more of a hack job. Let's do My Spiffy Invoice. Click Save. Okay, it's not going to overwrite it because the session still has issues with it. So we can go ahead and do what we did before. Instead of two, this could now be three. And click Save. And then we can go ahead and manage our templates by, well, right-clicking on the Start button or just opening up any folder, like if I minimize this down to the taskbar. In fact, let me right-click and close out of number three. And I open up any folder, like the Exercises folder. Because over in the navigation pane, we have our libraries, which reveals the documents folder, double click, or the documents library. And it's in our custom office templates, double click, and there's all three of them. So if I want number three to be the only one, but I don't want it to be called number three, I want it to be called the original. Well, I can select the original and number two and hit the delete keys on the keyboard and get rid of them. Then right click on number three to rename it. Or you can just go ahead and select it and hit the F2 key on the keyboard to open up an edit mode. And then go ahead and delete 3, hit enter, my spiffy invoice. So when I close out of here and I open up Word and I go backstage file to new. Remember personal is where it saves our templates, my spiffy invoice, click on it. Hey, oi, enter a name. Of course, it's me. And then when you're done typing in all the fields, go ahead and print it, or, you know, if you want to save it, because up here on the title bar, 
It's got a generic name, document2. It's going to save it as a document, not overwrite the original template. So click Save. And we can, well, we don't want to do it to the templates folder. Unless you want to, I'll do it to the desktop. And say, well, it's invoice to Kurt. And click Save. And there you go. Oh, well, I could update the street, city, state, and zip. But you get the idea. Just click and type. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.